Alrighty, so welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, it's going to be very creative. Um, we will be doing something very different, something that I don't really do on my own, um, but I definitely wanted to bring you all um, on this video to show you how it will turn out. Um, so again, thanks for clicking on this video. Thanks to all my subscribers. And also I finally hit 200 subscribers thanks to um, a bunch of people who were kind enough to subscribe. So shout out to each and every one of y'all. Um, shout out to supporting me and watching my channels, um, shouting me out. I really do appreciate it. Like it's very overwhelming sometimes, but I really do appreciate it. Um, so with this band, we are going to be coloring um, my old black lace front red. Yes, it's going to be very cool, very unique, very different because again, I've never done it. I've never um, really, you know, done the coloring thing. So excuse how I'm looking today. Today is Saturday, so we are chilling, ladies. So I thought, hmm, let me go ahead and record. Let me jump on this and get this video up because I still have to turn around and record our girl talk. So make sure you tune in Monday for that. I am still picking and choosing the topic, but definitely make sure you're tuning in. And also don't forget July 10th is our 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I've actually, of course, reached 200. So right after that, we will be having um, yet another game. Everything, just thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. That's what they be doing, right? They be like, let's get into this video. Yeah, so anyway, thanks for clicking. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, ladies, so we are going to move in with what we are using today. I hope y'all can see. Excuse my little house shorts here. I'm not trying to be, you know, trying to show everything. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and move with what we're using today. Um, and also, I want to make this pretty known, um, or make this known right away. This is not clean, so we are going to um, wash this, um, which I think is okay to do. Um, so yeah, we are going to have our lace front. Um, I, again, I've had this for about a year now. Um, I did already bleach the roots when I first got it. Um, I also sewed on my own band here for a better, you know, fit. Um, it was not that tight. I did get it from my local beauty supply store, so don't judge me. <laughs> I cannot afford those $500, um, you know, whatever you call it. Uh, lace fronts or bundles all of that shout out to all the ladies that can if you have one just laying around that you don't wear ship it to breeds and knees I can hook it up anyways um, so yeah I sewed on my own band there and um, I did kind of you know pluck my own baby hairs and stuff like that so this will be our lace front and then once we wash it we want to make sure it's just you know conditioned and um, all of that good stuff so I don't know we might not even wash it so we'll determine that anyways I have my little uh, mannequin head here and y'all yes I was like bored one day and I hooked up my girl I don't even have a name for her we just gonna call her um, let's see I don't know but this is the homie right here you know she can just secure the wig for me. So anyways, this is what that is for. <laughs> and then we have just our bowl for the color and we have a dye brush. And we also have um, a Clairol BW number two, which is our powder highlighter, which is our bleach. This is what you need to use um, as far as bleaching any type of um, thread or lace on your wig, or if you just need to, you know, lighten or if you're wanting to Hair. Now, I'm not a certified cosmetologist or a beautician, anything like that. So, ladies, don't take my advice on anything. This is solely up to your own discretion. So, with that being said, um, with the highlighter, the powder highlighter, you also want to make sure that you have your 40 volume cream developer. Now, I do believe this is one of the highest. It does not have to be 40. I do know that with 40, it does not have to sit that long. Um, and plus, I've had this for as long as I've had this lace front because I did have to purchase um, this to, of course, lighten the lace on this wig. And again, I've had it for about a year and some change. So um, again, since we're going, oh, we haven't gotten there yet. So anyways, you need to have these two if you're needing to bleach and lighten any type of hair color. So boom. Now, the reason why we're lightening this is because the color that we will be using. Now, y'all, I had to go through like, oh my gosh. I went to my local beauty supply, my favorite beauty supply, they didn't have it. I went to Sally's, they didn't have it. But when I went to Sally's, they were like, yeah, go check out this place over there on 
78 anyways that's here in my hometown um they were like go check out this place on 78 it's over by office depot they got all the kiss colors so it was another pretty supply store and i got there and they had it now they didn't have the exact kiss color that i wanted but yes it was the kiss color i'm pretty sure a lot of you are very familiar with that kiss express color and this comes in the color k48 truly red and with this, this is a semi-permanent, shiny and vivid hair color. It's recommended for chemi chemically, excuse me, treated and natural hair. And it's also excellent for gray coverage. So, you know, any of my subscribers or anyone that comes across this video, if you're looking for some type of color that is good at covering grays, um, I don't have any gray hair. Again, this is for the lace front. I would definitely recommend you give this a try. And also, y'all, they have every color and the colors are awesome. Like, I had a hard time picking a color but me and my bae we always thought that I should try a red color on my hair so since I'm not doing this to my natural hair I would not recommend that either unless you go to a professional um, we're doing again on my lace front so again this is the Kiss Express and it's a nice hefty bottle it's 3.5 ounces here and I do believe this will be enough for um, just this one piece here this one unit lace front and this is also human hair um, so it's not synthetic or anything, but again, you know, I just want to kind of try something different, especially with it being this summer. So when I take out these box braids, which I plan to do, I'll probably leave them in for about a month, if that, um, but I definitely want to take them out, um, cause I don't want that edge control turning all gray with, you know, fuzz and lint and all that stuff that I have for each section. So yeah, that is it. And that is what we're doing um, today for this video. Thanks so much for clicking. Now we're going to move in, ladies, with just kind of combing out um, the lace front. And I am going to determine if I'm going to wash it. So depending on the next scene, we're going to see if I'm washing or just going to go in straight with the color. All right, so I'll see you ladies back in one second. Alrighty, so what we're going to start with is mixing up our bleach so that we can go ahead and start on that lace front as far as the bleaching. Um, so again, you want to make sure you have any type of bowl. It doesn't have to be a dye bowl in a specific dye brush. Um, again, this is really for my edges um, of the lace front because I'm going to use these my hands to really get in there. Um, so again, this is what this is for and also mixing. So what you want to do is take your um, bleach powder and we're just going to go over to the directions, excuse me, just to be sure. Yep, pour contents into a non-metallic glass or plastic bowl and mix with one of the following clear all professional developers. Um, so we are using Salon Care, but I didn't have any problems with the lace front, so it's fine. Anyways, and I'm not going to use that much um, because I, I really need to keep this around. When I, blaze, bleh, when I bleach my lace front, um, I didn't even need that much. I ended up throwing this away and I still would have had it like I still have the uh, developer. So that's, yeah, something to keep in mind. So I'm not going to use that much, but I will add as I go if I need more. All right, so we're just going to pour that in one second. Okay, sorry about that. So you just want to finish up with um, pouring in some of that bleach. And we're going to do about that much. I don't know, it's like half a pack. <laughs> okay, then you're going to make sure we got all that in there. Move in with your developer. And we're going to go a little bit, okay, at a time. I don't want to add too much to have it too, you know, liquefied. I kind of want it thick. So, just going to go a little bit at a time. Make sure you give that a good stir. Definitely need some more. And again, you're just going add that as you go. Ooh, this stuff is strong. You just want to mix that. Get it all incorporated. and we're just going to make sure that's all mixed in there. And I may need a little bit more, but the way I plan to do this, I'm going to make it stretch, okay? So, <coughs> so again, caution. 
I would not recommend doing this if you do not know what you're doing. Um, and also always ask or visit a professional if it is your first time, okay? But again, you just wanna get that bleach mixed in there as such. And then we're going to move in with applying it. So I'm gonna slide my gloves on and then we're gonna move over to our lace front. So I'll see you ladies in a minute. Alrighty ladies, so I'm so sorry. I've been having the worst trouble with my camera. Um, but I did already go ahead and start um, as far as applying the bleach. And down here, I did do like a test section and it already has begun. Let's see, I did put a plastic bag in there. But it already has started lightning. Um, and I did have to use the rest of that pack. I don't know what I was thinking. Can y'all see that? It is lightning. So that was just a test section. So now I'm just going to go through um, and apply this all over. And I only got one pack of clear all. See this um this how you know I'm not used to this because it's not enough. Um, it, that one pack is not enough. So I would definitely recommend if you plan on coloring your own wig um, to definitely get a couple of packs or just get the jar if you plan on already changing. I don't think y'all can see that. Okay. okay. Alrighty, ladies. So I'm going to um, finish putting the bleach in this and letting it sit. And it will probably be um, about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, a little bit longer depending on how this bleach works out with me not having that much. So we will be back and I will be applying the color with you ladies. I'll see you in a minute. Okay ladies, so um, again I did go ahead and wrap it all up here. And we are going to let this sit for probably about an hour. So this would be the front of her face. <laughs> um, and this is the back. So again I ran out of... Um, bleach but it is kind of changing there so again wherever it lightens I'm fine by it may even turn out you know like an ombre type thing but however it turns out it's fine I'm not going back out for another pack of Clairol um, or developer so that is it and I will see you ladies back here once this is all finished all right so we're gonna go ahead and start with coloring um, the lace part and again I'm just gonna show you all just a little bit here and then I'll go off camera to do the rest so that it's just easier for me and I can really concentrate here. So I'm just gonna start with the sexy. So I wanna be very careful with where I land. So for right now, I'm just getting that in this first section here. If I get the net, I mean the lace, that's fine. You know, at least I know that it'll be red. Red, red, red. And it's already taken good there on those bleach parts. Okay. So we're just going to continue to apply. And I'm going to move down. amazingly if that's the word amazingly okay <laughs> I think it's going to work out really good so I'm going to go ahead and go off of camera here and I'm going to finish up and then I'll show you all what it's looking like once I get all that color in and we're going to let it sit okay so wrap that up and again that's all we have done so far 
pretty much just the back and then we have those two clip sections there um, in the back to finish and I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do that so I'll see you all back here in a moment alrighty y'all so we are done here as far as letting it sit I did end up letting it sit for quite a few hours um, so I think it's ready to be rinsed so we're gonna get this rinsed out and yeah look at the final result okay everyone so this is what it's looking like so far so that color actually turned out really really good I think like I said it's almost like an ombre type thing and again this is with the kiss color so I'm gonna finish these drop curls here on the rest and then I'll see you all back with the finishing touch alrighty ladies so I have finished um, curling and this is the final look of it all so it's not really red red um, again if you did watch the full video I did not have enough bleach um, but this is how it turned out she's all nice and clean um, the curls are like really popping and this is the finish touch so yeah I hope you ladies enjoyed this video um, I would definitely try again I would just need to bleach the hair if I want it really 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 red but aside from that this is it thank you all for watching excuse her face that's all that color up there um, but yeah that's about it and I'll see you all later